I'm DCE Joel Marquardt from our Shepherd Lutheran Church in Avon, Indiana. In this December, we'd like to bring you some Advent devotions from our devotions that you can either pick up here at the church in the narthex or will be mailed to your home. The devotion series this Advent is called Prepare Ye, as we anticipate Christ's coming, not just as a little baby at Christmas time, but also his return for us in glory for our eternal life. So today we read the first Wednesday in Advent, December 2nd. Our hymn for the day is, Lo, He Comes with Clouds Descending. And our reading from, comes from Psalm 97. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around Him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of His throne. Fire goes before Him and burns up His adversaries all around. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. All worshippers of images are put to shame, who make their boast in worthless idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad. The daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. O you who love the Lord, hate evil, he preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. The future here is more important than the past. Our past is not pretty. It's full of frustrations and failures. It's loaded with pain and deep disappointment. Our past is marked by selfishness and sin, pride, posing, and pretending. Our future, though, is infinitely more important than our past. As Charles Wesley declares in this stunning hymn that celebrates Christ returning with the clouds. With what rapture, with what rapture, with what rapture gaze we on those glorious scars. What a future, what a hope to see the scars emblazoned upon Christ's glorified body. Then we will enjoy perfect relationships, perfect harmony, perfect bliss, perfect joy, perfect delight. Why live in the past? Why dwell on the past? Why get stuck in the past? The Savior, whose baptism, his transfiguration, and ascension were all accompanied with clouds. It's coming again for you with the clouds. Yea, amen, let all adore thee, high on thine eternal throne. Amen. God's peace.